sorry, Spinelli, but now's kind of a bad time. Most assuredly. The Jekyll apologizes for his most untimely intrusion. Uh, no, stay. I'm the one who's leaving. Don't make me drop you on the floor or do anything else to embarrass you in front of your friend. You know, you don't have to act all loyal to Lulu for Spinelli's benefit. Perhaps Maximista should examine the possibility that the Son of Darkness is trying to prevent her from further embarrassment. She's coming on to me to get back at Lulu. Absolutely. That is not true. Lulu is the one who has it out for me. She's she's only sticking with this job because of that, and she doesn't even care anything about fashion, as you can tell from the way she dresses. You and fair Lulu are now a united front, as it were. Advancement in your chosen career path depends on you and Lulu working in well-oiled blonde synchronicity. I know you're trying to help. But I'm talking about my personal life with Johnny. <laughs> Sorry, but there's nothing to talk about. That's a shame, because I kind of like you. And I think I'm a little more your speed than Miss Pity Me. OK, you're wasting your time, Maxie. I'm only interested in Lulu. Is that clear enough for you? I cannot believe Maxie threw herself at you again. What'd she do this time, drop her dress? She merely sat on his lap. And groped him? Kissed him. But it was, a, it, was a, it was a small kiss that the Prince of Darkness did not respond to in any way. Well, I'm sure it made him want to vomit. You wish. It was, it was a kiss not born of affection, more of a uh, deep-rooted Your boyfriend is hot. You're a skank. Okay, I'm not interested in Maxie. I've made that more than clear. Yeah. Well, I got nothing to be upset about. It's true. Oh, so now you think I'm a skank. I was, the truth I was referring to was not, was not that truth. It was a larger truth that... Ever fire a gun before? Once! How'd you do? Oh. How'd you do? Um, a, a friend attempted to educate me in the manly art. Did you hit anything? Cuboid in fifth metatarsal? Huh? My foot. I, I didn't realize the weapon was loaded. And... First rule of gun safety. Empty. Empty. Now, one of the keys to pistol marksmanship, the grip. You want to make sure the trigger finger... Um, runs as close to parallel to the axis of the bore as possible. It's something I learned from a wise and beautiful friend. Okay. Let's see you give it a try. Okay. Ooh. I've been, uh, been pumping iron. My delts are still a little sore. Talked. You said you were going to take Maxie to a museum or a concert, someplace you can impress her with your brilliance. Yeah, that was before the Jekyll witnessed Maximista throwing herself onto the lap of the Son of Darkness to expound on his hotness. The Jekyll felt invisible. Exactly as wise Georgie must have felt with me now, I sadly realize. Yeah, but you do realize that the answer is not to go out and learn how to shoot a gun. Yeah, but the female of the species is attracted to that swaggering danger of the alpha male. But sadly, I lack any and all of those manly skills. Oh, no, 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 no. You do have manly skills. The answer is we need to just figure out a way to bring them out. No way! Yeah. You did that? I did, yeah. That's, that's good. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, Stone Cold, uh, this is most unexpected. I live here. Yeah, I... This isn't what it looks like. It looks like you're having dinner with Sam? Yeah, it is a tutorial. We are, we're trying to simulate a, a uh, successful yeah, date. Hey, with um, the... don't uh, bother trying to explain. We'll pick this up another wait, time. Wait, wait. Uh, Sam is only here because she took pity on me after a most humiliating experience at the firing range. Police file charges? No, <laughs> no blood was shed. Minor anyone else's. Yeah, he, uh, he likes a girl, and he's trying to impress her. Uh, uh, First Samantha is trying to enhance the meager manly traits with which I've been endowed. Well, uh, basically, Spinelli's biggest mistake is trying to act like you. 
Jackal offers his most humble apology and is sadly aware that in light of your former attachment, it is most uncomfortable for Sphere Samantha and Stone Cold to be in the same, same room, let alone the apartment they once cohabitated. No, you know what? That was a long time ago, and I was sad at it at the time, but I'm completely over it. I had absolutely no agenda coming here. I really didn't. I'm just trying to get Spinelli to see that he doesn't have to act like you or Johnny Sakara or, or anyone else. He just really needs to be himself. But Jekyll, you know, has asked the master to share the secrets of his chick magnetism. You know, he does one day hope to emulate the brooding man of danger in a few words. You know, trust me, Spinelli, talking to a brick wall starts to really wear on a woman. You are sensitive and confident. Someone a girl will love to open up to and confide in, and I think in the long run, it will win out over any brooding bad boy attitude.